Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Body Talk Friday. This is Lorraine Purcell, your host. Settle in, bring your coffee, bring your tea, bring your glass of wine, whatever, and just join with us in the conversation. We're going to be talking this morning about following your own path, following your own path. <laughs> good topic. Good topic. So while I'm waiting for everybody to get on, I'm going to do my little spiel. I'm here every Monday and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell M.A. And on uh, Monday, I'm your fairy godmother with my magic wand and my crystal ball. Showing you how to make your own dreams come true in the quantum field of all possibilities. It's the energy that has always run the planet run the universe for sure and um we just now discovered it a hundred years ago so we're kind of late comers to the whole idea but it's just a law it's an immutable law that what we focus on becomes more so <laughs> if we don't like what's going on in our lives we better just change our trajectory and so I guide you through that by tapping into your desire and spending time in that desire. And uh, we bring it all together in the quantum field together. That's on Mondays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And then on Fridays, we tune into our 50 trillion cells and consult the wisdom of our bodies and what they need from us to restore and regenerate. And uh, today our topic is going to be follow your own path. And um, I'm going to just take a little water and hang on. Maybe while I'm drinking my water, you can be pondering. What do you think your path is? And what do you think is in your way of following that? What is stopping you from following that path? So, following our own path. You know what? This screen is really dark. Um, I want to lighten it up. I think I will be gone for a second while I do that. Hang on. Better? <laughs> Thank you for your patience on that. <laughs> All right. So, following our own path. How do we know... Let's be, let's be dealing in, dealing into this, dealing, feeling into this while we're tuning in to our 50 trillion cells. Every one of our cells is a universe unto itself. I think that's so exciting uh, to know that we have 50, 50 trillion universes, life forces within us. And if you separate one and you put it in a Petri dish that is a, a clean medium, it will reproduce and make more um, along the clean lines. If you put it in a gunky Petri dish, it will <sighs> deteriorate, deform. <laughs> um, it's, just, it's just marvel to me. Okay, so breathe in some white light from the top of our head while I feel what wants to come into me through to, oh, it's a full moon today. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is perfect. So we're going to be thinking of the things that uh, are in our way to fulfilling our dream, to following our own path and we're going to burn it. And also it's a lunar eclipse. Oh my gosh. So if things are intense today, if things have been intense the last couple of days, that's why. Wow, full moon and a lunar eclipse.
as you jump on, if you're watching the replay, please say replay. And um, if you jumped on, tell me that you're here. So I know that you're here. I can tell the numbers, but I can't tell who's here. My sister. Good morning, hon. Sorry, I think I just sneezed. Did I just sneeze? I sneezed before I started. So following our own path, while we're sending white light through our 50 trillion cells in a counterclockwise spin all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, dumping everything into Mother Earth that does not serve us. And let's just get her message for us while we're down there. I realize now why Mother Earth has been telling me to stay calm because I need to stay calm. <laughs> Duh, but I come from being an excitement junkie. So hi, Sean. Yay. Hello. Good morning, you guys. So what's Mother Earth saying to us? What do you require of us today, Mother Earth? Mm, she's telling me to expand. We're going to be interviewed on an international interview today at noon. You guys might have seen the, uh, what is it? Expand. That's why. <laughs> kind of forgot. Uh, at noon, I'm going to be interviewed by my colleague, Patricia Daly in, I'm uh, pretty sure she's in England somewhere. And well, England, I mean, it, I'm wondering if it's England or Scotland, I'm not sure which one. Um, and so I'm gonna be interviewed by her today for her challenge on being a consistently fruitful creative and so that's why Mother Earth is telling me to expand. I'm sure that's why. So if you guys can join me at noon Eastern, uh, it's 5 p.m. UK. And so, you know, we've got the links everywhere in the groups on the home, on the, the biz page. So I um, hope you can join us. Who knows what I'm going to say? I never know what I'm going to say until I jump on. I don't like planning these things. They don't, that does not work for me. So uh, that's my creative process. <laughs> uh, some might say it's a risky creative process, but it's mine. Um, Janine, Mother Earth is telling me to also stay calm and to not let people get me down or get in my head. Uh, big, 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 especially for us empaths, right? Okay, so following our own path. I touched on this on Monday. Doing the right thing is um, doing just what we know, even though it's scary. Just doing what we know to do, even though it's scary. And it was a prelude to this, following our own path, because following our own path is scary because we know that we must follow it even if we're alone, even if we're alone. And that can be scary because we're social creatures. We wanna be accepted, we wanna be loved, we wanna be recognized. But following that path and what a perfect day to be talking about this because of the lunar eclipse and the full moon that's probably why I didn't sleep well last night. Um, lots of fears coming up for me right now. I think that because I know from historically, that means that I'm about, I'm on a expand curve. I'm on a, I'm going to start growing. <laughs> so it's not comfortable. Or... So what is your path that you are to follow? What is your path that you are to follow? Even if no one goes with you, and especially if no one goes with you. Having the courage 
to follow that path because at the end of our lives, we're going to be looking at our life review. No judgment. The only judgment will come from ourselves. We'll be following, we'll be looking at our life review. And personally, I want to, I will be so pissed if I know that I left something on the table. I will be very disappointed if I left something on the table. If I just had put a little more effort in, if I just had uh, done a little more um, effort, meaning getting over myself. Desiree, nice to see you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what is that path that you, you are to follow? Let's just say when nobody else goes with you because, what is this? <laughs> it's a piece of lotion. <laughs> you know how you, you squirt lotion out of the bottle and there's that chunk that's been dried there? That's what that was. Um, Let's just say when nobody else follows you. Because that's the truth. Nobody else can follow you on your path. But you know you must go. You know you must go. You know that you must go. So what are the things in the way of that? And those are the things we're going to write down and burn in our full moon burning today. So mine would be fear. More fear. <laughs> Even more fear. Fear of what? Fear of being made fun of. Fear of my critics being right. Ah, what was I? Um, fear that uh, I, I've just been a fool for following my path. You know what I'm saying? Fear that just following my path, I'm a fool. <coughs> And everybody else knew better by just following the mainstream, getting in the getting in the line and just following everybody else. I'll I'll find out that yes, I was really a fool for believing. I don't know how to put that down in words. <coughs> what you know, what are your fears? What, I shouldn't say fears. What are the things that are in your path of in the way of you following your path? even though no one will follow you, okay? So I'm just gonna put it that way. No one will follow you, because let's put it straight. They won't, they can't. And even if no one is by your side. <clears throat> okay, so I am gonna put down fear of being a fool. being a believing fool because uh, I was I was criticized for so long for being an idealist and now it is my strongest feature it is it is um, <sighs> it's my trademark believing being Pollyanna ish yeah I'll take it Darcy hello happy Friday. I'll take it because it's the only way I can live with myself that all the things I teach you guys, it's so simple because it's just, if, if you come down to it, it's the only way you can live with yourself, whatever that way is for you. So if you get to the end of your life and you see your life review and you imagine that moment and you go, arg, <laughs> That's enough to just motivate me to stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in, because uh, I have been given this life. Now what am I going to do with it? Uh, fear of being a fool. Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, just all the stuff from my childhood. Hello, Annette. Nice to see you again. Ditto on fear of being a fool. I've wondered what if I believe I'm on my purpose and path, but I'm really not. Oh, sister, it's so good. Yes, that's it. And you know what? As you're reflecting it back to me, I'm seeing it's all centered around what people will think of us, right? Wow. Thank you for reflecting that back to me. So it all goes down to this social conditioning, as uh, Don Miguel Ruiz says, uh, domestication, getting undomesticated. Oh. <coughs> Pardon me. So write all that crap down and let's set it on fire. Um, make sure that you're going to be doing it over the kitchen sink. We're doing this in the full moon burning. And um, and the lunar eclipse. So things are doubly intense. So what a great time to just offer this up to universe and say, we're, we're committing to moving further in through this. In other words, these are our fears. These are the things that hold us back and we are choosing to go over them anyway. But it helps to have a community like this, doesn't it? <coughs> Just, you know, I was thinking yesterday, I am such an uplifter to my core. I am what Matt Kahn calls an earth, an earth angel. And <coughs> Giselle, good morning. <laughs> I love how you call me queen mommy. <laughs> um, I was thinking everyone here is earth angel also, or you would not even be able to stand my energy. And you see it, a lot of people will come on and they'll boink right back out. Um, we, are, we are a special breed. <coughs> oh my goodness. Thanks for all the hearts. We are a special breed. And I think all of, because we are so sensitive, these are the things that really trip us up. But in order for us to live with ourselves, we have to, so we might as well burn them. So get it down on paper. Let's burn. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so angels, universe, <laughs> we commit all of this to you. And you guys promise me that you're over your kitchen sink when you're doing this, okay? Take me over there. Let's give you a second to take you over there. Get your stuff. Okay, so we commit this to you. These are our fears that hold us back from following our own path. Whether anyone else follows us, whether anyone else believes in us, but that we can stand alone, sovereign, in our own path. And our own path is that thing that we know we must do in order to live with ourselves. Giselle, I think it's a good idea to be right now. Been not feeling well and been uh, to a lot of breakdown for the past few days. Yeah. So maybe stepping back from that a little bit, sweetie. Protecting our energy is the most important thing. That's why I wrote the Women's Self-Love Journey. That's why I wrote the Three Keys to Self-Love. Because especially for us, 
We are crystalline identity. We are crystalline and we pick up on all the energy around us. We are like crystalline. We are crystalline. We are crystalline. We must, must protect our energy. Protect our energy, number one. We can dip in once in a while, but not for very long. Not for very long. Not for very long. We are crystalline energy. We must clean and guard our aura above all else. Hey, Darlene, good to see you. Clean and guard our energy above all else. So you might, we might all ask ourselves, how do we know when we've reached that point? I reached that point earlier this week. My dog, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Your doggy died. Oh, so sorry, honey. You know, he's closer to you now than before. Oh, so we're just sending him love. Sending you love, sending your heart love. Oh, and you can now call your dog in as one of your, your spiritual counsel, Giselle. Darlene, I have 30 spheres and towers and I'm all about energy. Wow, <laughs> girl. <laughs> You trumped me. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So Giselle, just call him in as your as your counsel. And he will be by your side always. So now that you're by your sink, take your thing that is dropping, holding you back from living your following your path and let's light this in honor of the full moon and the lunar eclipse. So angels, we commit this to you. Commit this to you. Universe, we are burning what is keeping us from living, following our own path. Whether anyone goes with us or not, Feel it turn to ash as you get more courage to stand alone, to be sovereign. Okay, all the words got burned. Wow, that was a thorough incineration. Every single bit got burned. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you just take a moment, take a pause on this? And just feel the new lightness. Yes. I used to tell my son when he was little, remember that if I die, I'm going to be closer to you. That, that's such a great story, Darlene. So a lot of people are reaching out to you about your doggy. Just beautiful, you guys.
Because we can have friends, we can have people that we touch in with. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got that. <laughs> um, but ultimately, we are alone. And we need to get used to that. We need to get used to that. And make sure that when you do bring people into your life, they're people that you really want to have in your life. Because their energy will affect you. Their energy will affect you. And it will either elevate you or it will bring you down. Yes. So, Giselle, while you have this opening, just ask your doggy what he would have for you. Now that he's in a higher plane, what would he have for you? What would he like you to do? Ah. So the intensities we're going to be feeling today, yesterday, the next couple days from the lunar eclipse and the full moon, let's just roll with it. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Surround yourself with good mentors. Watch my replays. And... What does our body need from us to restore and regenerate? Let's just bring that white light up through the bottoms of our feet, counterclockwise spin into every cell, white, golden, pink light, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, and consult your body. I've been overeating. My body's just saying, calm down, slow down a little bit. Oh, yeah, I was starting to say, I, I reached a point this week when I just was like, oh, my God, I was so overextended. And I, I, you know, it was stuff that I, you know, doing the right thing, doing what I knew was the right thing to do. And it just really took it out of me. And I had to just play dead, <laughs> not talk to anybody, turn everything off and just hibernate to get myself back. It took about a day and a half to recover from five hours. But when we do what we need to do to take care of ourselves, we can recover. And that's the point. Knowing what it is that we need to do to take care of ourselves and pull back. Even if, hi Artemia, um, even if nobody around us understands, even if they call you selfish, let them call you selfish. Uh, I was here in a different province, so I am soon, so I am here soon. I am so happy. Uh, oh, that is so nice, Darlene. You guys might want to do a full moon little ceremony. That's why my sister and I get along so well, because we're both on the same thing. And I mean, we're texting each other all the time. Good stuff, you know, only good stuff. I mean, it. I will only have people around me like that. I can't afford the other. I can't afford it emotionally. And I know that you can't either. <laughs> That's wonderful, Darlene. So what does our body need from us to restore or regenerate over the weekend? And also just tune in any aches and pains that you have in your body. What is... Uh, What's, what's calling to you? What's talking to you? What is your body saying? Yes. Yes. And yet even that, I, I can't take an overload of that. <laughs> like I said, I'm here on Mondays and Fridays. And other than that, I'm a hermit. <laughs> Seriously. I uh, spend a lot of time with my grandkids. But I'm a hermit. I don't talk to people. I, I take care of business. I talk to my team, but other than that, I'm, I'm to myself and I talk to my sister and, you know, a couple of my mentors because <sighs> I guard my energy like crazy. Yeah. And a lot of my time is spent in food preparation because I think that, you know, the way I eat has a lot to do with keeping my vibration right interesting right 
I love you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so happy that you came and joined me this morning. For more of my work, we are putting out the freebie again. Um, go to three keys to self love.com forward slash freebie dash affirmations. And these are the most powerful. I think they're five affirmations that I've ever found that have helped me so much and helped my clients around the world so much. <laughs> yes. 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 Darlene says, I agree. I am in my head listening all of the time, treating myself with utmost respect. That's it. That is it. Treating ourselves with utmost respect on all levels. And we can go off once in a while just to come back. I do that all the time. I'm like, oh, this is getting kind of boring over here in the land of everything being great. So I'll just step off and get into a mess just to go, oh, that's why I like being in the land of everything being so great. Have a great time with your friend, Darlene. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, so for more of my work, it's free. Go to uh, three keys to, I don't want to write it in here. It's up in the comments. Um, it's three keys to self love.com forward slash freebie dash affirmations. But it will be worth it. It's a printable P PDF, beautiful color printable PDF that you can stick all over your walls to remind yourself of how powerful you are and how wonderful you are. Oh, that's great. <laughs> You're welcome, Desiree. So be, be in ponderance about your path and notice when you feel the, you know what I mean by that? When you're, you're, you're knowing your path and then you feel the, like, it's almost like a rush of what will they think of me? Like this almost embarrassment thing that will just hit you. I, I feel like this flush go up through my face and, um, and just go, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm letting someone, the thought of someone else's opinion of me, keep me from following my own path. I'm calling this out. Sometimes all you, all you can do is call, is call it out. Just call it out. Yeah, Darlene, hope we see you Monday. <clears throat> I don't know what I'll be talking about next week. It'll come to me. I better figure it out because I'm going to be sending it to my team here pretty quick. But do you guys have anything you want to talk about next week? I'm open to suggestions. What are we, what are we wanting to hear more about? Maybe death. Ooh, that would be good. So much discipline. <laughs> what does that mean, darling? Okay, so it's gonna be five, probably eight, six, seven, eight, yeah, five, eight, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, five, 12. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about death on Monday. Oh, discipline. Okay, I got it. Talk about that on Friday. I'll find a way to kind of like soften those two words, <laughs> make it palatable. Because I personally, oh, oh, God, that's the hard one. Oh, my God. When I think about my brothers and them leaving, I just am crushed. S to stay true to the long-term goal. Okay. Writing these down. Stay true to the long-term goal. And think of me or join us at noon Eastern, that would be 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, for my, my interview, my global interview. Um, I'm working on not being so emotional and more logical. How about like balancing the... Uh, Balancing emotion with logic, something like that. That would be good. Balancing emotion 
with logic. Good. This is really good, you guys. Anything else? Loss is hard, except they are still with you and communicating is easier. Yeah, letting go of the ego. Okay, yeah, letting go of the ego. Okay, you guys are giving me lots of good topics. Letting go of the ego. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Darlene. Okay, loves. I will see you Monday, if not before. I guess I'm talking about death. I'll find a way to soften that. Uh, maybe it will be... Um, Something about when those we love die, they're closer to us. How can I word that? It's too long to put as a title, so I have to figure something out. <sighs> okay, guys. Thank you for joining me today. And I will see you Monday, if not before, and for Fairy Godmother Monday, <clears throat> where we'll talk about your dreams, the gift of spirit, okay? Good. Thank you. Transitioning. Oh, good. Thank you. That's the, that's the word. So death, transitioning. Oh, how about when loved ones trans trans transition? That's a good one. When loved ones transition. Oh, that's going to be good, you guys. Yeah, I, I would do a different one on the gift of spirit because that's, but yeah, it's all, it's, I'll touch on that, Darlene. And if you're with me on Monday, you can bring that in. When loved ones transition, that's a good one. That's that's the title we're after. Okay, you guys, I will see you Monday, if not before. Facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA, welcoming all my IG people. And um, tune in what your body needs to restore and regenerate over the weekend. Annette. Or Anita, sorry, it was good to uh, see you again. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, loves. Bye-bye for now.